Hey everybody, welcome back to the Temple 420 Bible Study and Torah Tour. We're actually in the Torah today. We're talking about Hashem and fire and incense and lighting them together and it's an offering that's fragrant for God no matter... See, the offering is good no matter what. God loves the fragrance. But what's in your heart? Do you do it because you love Him and you thank Him for creating such a, an idea? Like, what an idea. Let's make man out of him and give him an internal system made out of hemp and hemp on the outside. In fact, we'll make the whole earth out of hemp. One seed. Read John 1, a little bit past 1-1, one, one, please. He was with him in the beginning. John 1-2. So he lifts our spirits, he holds our head up high. When you think about the most high now, you have to think 420, you have to think about the language and the arousal of what? The loins? No, nope, those get cleared out. The mind, our mind is aroused and that is what is honoring God. Cause literally, you wanna hear the pun? If you walk into a room, you turn on or turn off the lights. If you want to go, if you want to date somebody, you, you're turned on by them or you're turned off by them. Well, don't date somebody for their body. God wants you to date somebody for their mind. He wants to date you. He wants you and me to turn him on, mentally arouse him with fragrant incense and perfume. And then it reminds him of the good old days versus now, which is leading in a parade from West Hollywood all the way to Tel Aviv. And at that point, that is the wrong offering to show your allegiance to one guy who says, don't do that. And here we're learning about it in the grumbling against Moza in number 16. So they're jealous. And, he's, and I'm going to repeat the sentence because they're, they're arguing this point in court. Remember this. It's a court system. We're not going to go up even though we were called. You guys... Some of you guys refused to share the video with somebody. At that point, I felt like a pastor just said, go out and share the word of Jesus. I'm like, you know what, don't, don't do that. It's on YouTube. If you want to share somebody, tell them what you feel inside and how God, you believe about God. That's your testimony now. Don't spread my word, spread his word. So at that point, we shall not go up. Is it not enough for you that you brought us up from Egypt? Right? Moses brought us out of Egypt. Ah, ah, ah. Time out. God, through plagues and diseases, brought Moses to rescue us out. Because Moses believed in the burning bush. And those who dwell in the burning bush, and dwell those who dwell in the presence of the Most High, in the aroma of the fragrant offerings continually, are the chosen ones. That's me. That's you. If you want to be, you have to show your heart to God. You have to show up when he asks you. And when he doesn't ask you, if you show up anyways, it's like, what? what? Look, give him something to think about. So they came from Egypt, which is considered, listen, a land flowing with milk and honey. Now they're out of the land of milk and honey. Now they're in the wilderness having that manna crap at that point. So they say... And they're causing us, the cabinists, look at cabinus, uh, to cause us to die in the wilderness. So we came from a land of milk and honey where we were thriving, and now we're starving, and you came out as to kill us. You got life and death. What is the separating factor? The fire pan and offering? Yes. So even if you would gouge out the eyes of those men... We will not go up. That's complete refusal. Baruch Hashem. We'll be right back.